works so you can play. Mini War Gaming's Who Would Win? <laughs> Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWarGaming.com. Welcome, Wargamers, to another Who Would Win. Today's matchup, we got Kanum the Usurper versus Dante, Chapter Master of the Blood Angels. Let's go over their stats. Dante's got Weapon Skill 6, Blissa Skill 5, 4 is across the board. He's got 4 Wounds, Initiative 6, 4 Attacks, Leadership 10, and a 2-up Artificer Armor save. Now, it's important to note that he is a Lord of War. He's not actually an HQ character. Which doesn't really matter so much in this matchup, but it's just an important note. He's got an Infernal Pistol, which is basically a melted pistol with a really short range, but still, it could hurt you. Frag Grenades, Crack Grenades, he's got an Iron Halo, which means he's got a 4-up Invuln save. He is Jump Infantry, Descent of Angels, Warlord Trait, which will be useless in this Who Would Win matchup, because he's not going to be Deep Striking, so, and he's also not going to be coming from Reserves, so it doesn't really matter so much. Special rules, and they shall know no fear. He is Eternal Warrior, which will help those four wounds. Furious Charge, Hit and Run, Independent Character. Now for his Relics of Bale, he's got the Axe Mortalis, which is that right there. What that is is a Strength Plus 2, AP 2, Melee Master Crafted Close Combat Weapon, which is awesome because he's attacking with this at Initiative 6. So that's going to be pretty crazy for whomever he's fighting. And he also has the Death Mask of Sanguinius. What this does is it grants him the fear special rule and basically anything that's in combat with him that's within six inches must take a fear test. But in this case, since he's only fighting one guy, Kanam would have to take a fear test. Unless he's fearless, which he probably isn't. But we'll find out in just a second. Okay, Overlord Kanam. He's a little bit different than in his previous incarnation, but now at least he's legal with all his upgrades. So he's just a Necron Overlord with a War Scythe. He has the artifacts of Aeon's equipment, the Nightmare Shroud, giving him a 2 plus armor save, and the Fear Special rule. He, his Gauntlet of Fire now is just a Flamer, um, which he can now have in, on top of the War Scythe legally. He also has Mind Shackle Scarabs, giving him, in a challenge, the opponent must take a Fear Test on 3d6, but that's not going to matter here. A Phase Shifter, which gives him a 4 plus invulnerable save. A Phylactery that gives him It Will Not Die. A Resurrection Orb that gives him a 1 use only, plus 1 to reanimation protocols, and reroll a failed re reanimation protocol. He chooses when to use it. He also has a Solar Thermoslate, giving all his melee and ranged weapons plus 1 strength and rerolling armor saves, sorry, rerolling any saves of 1. So I have a Strength 8 uh, War Scythe, a Strength 5 Flamer. A 2 plus armor save, re-rolling 1s, and a 5 plus um, feel no pain, which is basically great emission protocols. Alright, uh, being a Necron Overlord, uh, same stats as previous incarnations, which is Strength and Toughness 5, Leadership 10, Initiative 2. But what he has gained in the new Codex is he's now Weapon Skill and Ballistic Skill 5. Today my opponent is Steve. That's nice pretty face there, Steve, you got. Very, very nice. Roll disease is going to go first. 3, I will definitely go first. He's going to use his jump infantry ability and move 12. I said that really weird, but he's moving at 12. You're 12. You're going to put like, use that cube on me the again? Tesseract, um, wow, I forget what it's called. Tesseract Labyrinth is now gone. So there's not, what? that's not happening anymore. What? So the big things that make him awesome before, Mind Shackle Scarabs and Tesseract Labyrinth, they're both gone. So he's now just a killy Whoa. overlord. Oh yeah, we should probably mention this. Dante is 220 points. How much is... 245. Of? But much of those points are spent in fear abilities. Which will... Which are usually well, useless. Yeah. Okay. I gotta run Dante. Six inches. Mm. Yes. Getting close. Getting nice and close. And it's Steve's turn. He's gonna move forward five inches. Five inches. Go an inch away. And I'm gonna flame you with my strength five flamer. Which is auto, auto hit. Wounding on a three. That's a wound. And you got your armor save. Two plus armor save. That's a save. Charging okay. in. And I'm gonna overwatch, and I miss. Go and roll I think anything that's an auto in, even though we only got four. Bam. Because of Dante's death mask of Sanguinius, Kanum has to take a fear test. Leadership 10, and I pass. Dante's gonna be attacking first. He gets five attacks, hitting on threes, master crafted. So I get to reroll one of those, and I get four hits. Now I'm wounding on threes. It would have been wounding on twos had I got the charge because of Furious Charge, but you are toughness five and I'm strength six right now, so wounding on threes, and that is three wounds. And you got a four up in Vault Save. And that's two wounds. 
Now, because of reanimation protocols, I have a five plus still no pain. Now, I'm gonna roll these one out of one at a time because I have a resurrection orb. And what the orb does is, as soon as I fail one of the saves, I'm allowed to expend my orb once per game and re-roll that save and every failed uh, reanimation protocol after that for that turn. All right, so the first failed one. Uh, you know what? I took a wound, so I'm gonna use my reanimation. Pro Actually, no, because of my. Um, Solar thermos like give me a plus one strength to my weapons. I also reroll saves one, so I get to reroll this one anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't reroll <laughs> one again, and I don't think I can use my orb right now because you never said you can reroll your dice twice, correct? So that's going to be a wound for Kanum. So that's one wound, and my next uh, film, or sorry, my next reanimation protocol, I pass. So my orb has not been expended. I'm down to uh, two wounds. Kanam, your abilities are confusing. And four attacks on charge with my war scythe, hitting on fours. <laughs> Wounding on twos. AP2, so four up in one save. One wound. This will be your side and break it down. Dante's got hit and run, so I'm going to decide to hit and run, and I'm going to move out of combat. Boop. That's it. I'm going to get your reaction there. You don't like that, huh? Well, you have to move 3d6 in a chosen direction. <laughs> so which, which way would you like to go? It's going to be back here. And that's 12 inches. Since I moved 12 away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move 6, not use my jump pack. And I'm going to fire my Infernus bolter at you. Pistol. Pistol. Infernal. Didn't even get it right. Inferno. Inferno. There you go. That's cocked. That's not. And that's a 2 wound. That's a wound. Four plus invulnerable, and it goes through, and I have a five plus reanimation protocol. Rerolling ones. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now I shall charge you. I'm gonna overwatch with my flamer. D3 hits. Four, two. Wounding on a three. One wound. And a regular save, two plus. That's safe. I need six inches for this charge. And I get to re-roll because I didn't use my jump infantry pack. My jump. Ah, just, just just roll, just do it. Boom, hammer of wrath. Hammer of wrath. Uh, does not wound. Dante attacks first. Six attacks on the charge. I hit you on threes. Re-rolling one for Mastercrafted. Man! Whoa, only two. But I wound you on twos this time because I'm furious charge. Ooh. And that's two wounds. Four plus invulnerable. Oh wait. Supposed to make a fear test, but uh, uh, we'll do that before I we'll, attack you. Yeah. And now, uh, reanimation protocols one at a time. So the first one. Oh, you know what? Because of my Thor thermosite, that one I rolled was a one. I get to re-roll my saves. Yeah. Let's roll that one first. And it went through anyway. So now reanimation protocols. Failed. I'm going to use my orb now. So there goes the moon. You're down to one. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's good. He's alive. Fear test. Fear test. Good. Hitting back on fours. Let's roll cock dice again. And two's the wound. Two wounds. Four pinball saves. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Canum one combat. They shall know no fear. I'm not fearless. I'm gonna roll. See if my. Uh... Oh! oh Steve. You should make it away safely. Let's see if you catch me. Get one, get one. Get a six. Oh, I, I got you. I, so I, I, I get away. He goes back five inches. And it's Kanum's turn. Moves forward. I'm gonna flame you. Okay. A three. Oh no! <laughs> Sir, I'm, I'm debating right now because with your initiative six to my two, if I charge you, I'm likely to die. But if I don't charge you and wait for you to charge me, I get D3 flamer attacks on you. So I, I really don't know what to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to run. I'm not, I'm not going to charge you. My turn's over. So he's going to not charge. And okay. No, I'll charge. I'll charge. You know what's going to happen? You get your furious. I don't know what to do. What's going to happen? Is that going to infernal? Pistol you, and then I'll kill you with that. Just as poetic no, justice. No, okay. So you are gonna charge after I'm gonna all. Charge. Okay, I'm gonna overwatch my infernal pistol. Watch that bit in a second and <laughs> kill you. That, that, that was... <laughs> you charge in. Charging in. Make it. Kaboom. We'll do my fear test. Okay, fear test. And you okay. pass. 
All right, and I hit you first five attacks, master crafted, which I've had to use every single time. And I'm three to wound. And that's one wound. Here it is. Here it is, Steve. Four plus save. Oh. Okay, can I just on this? <laughs> Four attacks back, hitting all fours. Oh, one. <laughs> that's okay. how I felt on my turn. <laughs> Wounding on twos. That's a wound. Four. And it's down to a 50-50 chance. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love this. Here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, Steve! The mage oh. champion. Nerf, but still very powerful. <laughs> Stay tuned, Vault members, for our next matchup. Abaddon the Despoiler versus Kanum the Usurper. If you're not a Vault member, click on the link below and sign up for a free 7-day trial to the Mini Wargaming Vault so that you can see this matchup as well as all of the other awesome Wargaming content that we create just for you, just for our special Vault members because you guys enable us to do these bat reps and they're a lot of fun. And thank you very much, Steve, for doing this with me. I like fighting you, you and I like fighting you beardless because, beardless. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm fighting a baby because yeah, that's, that's what, uh, that's what... It's more... Whoa, 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 whoa!